hello beautiful people good morning welcome to my channel this is your girl mommy so true i am so excited to talk to you today you guys it is a beautiful day to be a survivor it's a beautiful day to be a thriver you guys i'm excited today i'm excited today because my spirit is happy I'm waking up happier and happier and happier because I'm choosing to heal. I am choosing to keep going. And the reason why I keep posting is because I need somebody to know that you can do this. You can do this. The narcissist has been lying to you. This person is a big old ball of lies, a big old bag of lies. I need you to know that the mind of a narcissist is a mind of a lie. When you hear the devil is a liar, apply that to the narcissist because they are a liar. The narcissist believes everything in their mind. The things they've said to you, they believe it. The things that they've projected on you, they believe it. The things they've done to you, they believe you deserve it because they are a big old liar everything about the narcissist just boils down to shame shame because they don't have a true identity shame because they wish they were you shame because they've been living a life full of triflingness since day one okay so the <laughs> this person is living in a big old world of lies they have to believe their own lies to keep hurting you. They have to believe their own lies to make you feel lower than them. When in actuality, they feel low. Low is an understatement for how a narcissist feels, okay? So let me tell you, you have every reason to be happy, to be joyful, to free yourself, and to create the life that you want because you've been in the hands of a liar. You've been dealing with a liar. You've been dealing with somebody who is so convinced that you're the problem. They are so convinced that they're the victim. They are so convinced that you're not worthy, <laughs> that you deserve to be cheated on. They're so convinced that you deserve to be talked to crazy. A narcissist does not think that anything they're doing to you is wrong. That's why they can't apologize and mean it. That's why they don't apologize. Because in their mind, they have believed those big old stupid lies. They believe that they are a good person. They walking around calling themselves confident and they believe it. But you need to understand that all of these are lies. You are in love with a lie and you are in love with a liar. You were in love with a lie and you were in love with a liar. Once you realize the truth is they're nothing like you. The truth is they have zero confidence. <laughs> the truth is they can't help but to be this evil cold hearted person because that's how they're designed. The truth is everything that come out of their mouth is a lie will always be a lie. Once you accept the truth. Because the truth is you. You're the truth. You're the opposite of this narcissist. The truth comes with joy. Once you accept the truth, you know that you're not the problem. It was never your fault, sis. You're an amazing soul. This person has been lying to you, making you feel like you are beneath, like you don't belong, like you are not good enough, when really they feel that way. They're lying to you to protect them that is a narcissist it's all about them they're trying to protect themselves they're trying to cover up their own shame by making you feel shameful by making you feel low and dirty it's a big old lie it's a big old funky lie the narcissist is a major representation of a liar everything about them is a lie from head to toe their criticisms of you, lies. Everybody has imperfections, but narcissistic people wanna make sure they point out your imperfections. They wanna make sure you know how imperfect you are. 
That's how much of a liar they are. They want to focus on what you're missing and what you're doing wrong and what you don't look like and what you should look like. Because they're big liars. They want to focus on you so they don't have to focus on themselves. That disgusting, deceiving person that they are, that trifling character that they have. They don't want to see it. They don't want to face it. So they have to push everything on you. They have to make you look and feel terrible because that's how they feel inside. Everything they've ever done to you was a representation of a lie. From the beginning, they lied and led you on into the relationship. Narcissistic parents, they lie to keep you in, in the relationship. Soon as you cut a narcissistic mom or dad off, here they come acting sick. Now they lying. Now they got this problem, that problem, and that, and the other problem. All to trap you, keep you stuck. These are professional liars on every level. And what you're not going to do as a survivor is depend on those lies and to continue to believe those lies and accept those lies. Because that's how you're losing sleep. That's how you continue to lose your hair. That's how you continue to stay sick. Man, shut them lies off of you and know that they are all lies. Everything that girl told you about you, it's a lie. You know you the shit. You need to stand on it. Everything that man tried to tell you about yourself, sis, it's a lie. You a queen. You a boss. You are amazing. They know that. They have to trick themselves to believe that lie. And then they telling you because they want you to believe it too. But it's a lie. It's a lie. And the truth is, if you were so messed up, if you were so flawed and imperfect, what the hell did they want you for? What the hell did they marry you for? Okay? What the hell did they introduce you to their family for? Let's keep it real. What the hell are you still hoovering me for? You big old liar. Narcissist says you this, this, and that. But then when you cut them off and you leave them alone, now they looking for you. Now they hiding all in the dumpsters in the back of your house. Now they, they doing inspector gadget moves, rolling all over, trying to duck off. Got binoculars watching you from miles away. Stalking you in your new boo. Making sure you ain't got a new boo. Making sure they can cock block any new boos. Because you a liar. You made me feel like I wasn't nothing. When, when this whole time I was everything for you, for real, for real. You psyched yourself to believe that I wasn't good enough. And now you're looking for me. You're going, you going to and fro to earth. You're roaming all over the universe trying to find another me. And it's nowhere to be found. Because you lied to yourself. You deceived your own damn self. Y'all, when I say I start waking up happy and in a, in a great spirit, like, I come to work happy. I don't even care that I still have a job. I'm so unbothered and just happy in my spirit because I finally have accepted the truth. And the truth is, the devil is a liar. And that is the narcissist. The narcissist is a liar. And the best thing you can do as a survivor, the best thing you can do to push yourself and to keep going forward in your healing is to understand and accept the truth. They're liars. Everything they've programmed you to believe about yourself is a big old lie. You're more than enough. You're beyond enough. You've been enough. You were always enough. <laughs> and now what they did was make you better. So they're an even bigger liar. The smear campaign and they doing, it don't even matter. It's all lies. They're still, they're still lying to themselves even after the relationship because they're so ashamed they got to lie to protect themselves. They got to lie to cover up their shame. This is the sick mind of a narcissist. So for us, we got to understand that we just dealing with some lying, pathetic ducks and they don't stop nothing. The show keeps going. You don't play no role in nothing I got going on because you're just a liar. You're not to be trusted. Everything that come out their mouth is a lie. And they know how to say things so nice and sweet and just so convincing because they're liars, they're deceivers. This is their ultimate game. So us, we gotta see right through it. We gotta see right through it. When they standing there lying to you, you just, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, okay. I know your ass is lying, but yeah, okay, mm-hmm, yeah. 
for those of you still living with them, when they be lying and looking at you lying, just, yeah. You done lying? <laughs> I mean, like, it's so pathetic because they'll deny things that you got proof of. They, they will deny saying things that they said. They will deny telling you things that you said. They will deny the fact that you've laid and set boundaries all because they don't want to, you know, regard them. They are liars. They lie to their children to keep up confusion between mom and dad. You know, narcissistic parents lie to the siblings to keep them apart. It's called splitting. This is real in psychology. The narcissistic parent is the biggest liar to their child. They leave their child living with zero trust. You don't trust yourself. You don't trust your mama. You don't trust your daddy living in a narcissistic family. You don't trust your siblings. That's why so many families are so divided, so separated, because narcissistic parenting is predominant in our households. In, in, cult, in different cultures all over the world, the families are so separated because mom and dad have created separation with the siblings by treating everybody different. By creating lies, putting lies in their minds, putting everybody against each other, telling one child something different, creating lies, making one child feel invisible or abandoned or unwanted, incompetent, denied by creating lies in their mind that they're not good enough and that they can't do anything right or that everything they do is not ever going to be good enough. They program lies in our minds. And the only way for us to survive, live and be happy and move on is for us to know that these are all lies and we can't believe them. And if we used to, we need to let them go. We need to let all them lies out the window now. Everything any narcissist has ever told me about me, I know now that it's a lie. So I wake up laughing. I'll be waking up. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was a whole lie. I used to believe that about myself. What? <laughs> Woo! I used to believe that I needed you to validate me to do something. I needed you to tell me I'm pretty. I needed you to, you know, tell me I could do this or I could do that. I needed you to influence me in some kind of way for me to be motivated to do something. No. What? All of these have been lies, programmed to accept lies. We end up with narcissists because our parents taught us to accept lies. So when we met the narcissists, every lie they fed us, we took it, we accepted it. That's why we ignored the red flags because we were programmed to being okay with being lied to. But now we're survivors though, we're thrivers and we're choosing healing. So as part of that, no more lies. No more lies. You can't lie to me. You can't narc me. I cannot sit here and believe what you're telling me about me because I know me first. I love me first. There is nothing somebody can come into your life and tell you about you that you should not know already. And if they are, you should know it's a lie because you're the first person to know the truth about yourself and you should stand on that. You guys, I call myself mommy so true for a reason. I really do believe in truth, y'all. I'm not just saying that I'm some angel or some saint. But I operate in realness. I operate in realness, man. I can't help it. I can't help it. So the liar and the realer, the real person, the truth seer, me, we, we, uh, we'll always clash. It'll never work because I don't believe in lies. And the narcissist does. Till this day, they're somewhere believing in their minds that you're the reason the relationship didn't work. You're the reason it fell apart. They came back, tried to beg for forgiveness. You wouldn't go for it. You wanted a divorce so bad. You're the reason the marriage fell apart. You gave up. Lies. Because the truth is, they pushed you out the door. The truth is, you took them back a million times. The truth is, you tried over and over and over until you almost died about it. The truth is you're tired. The truth is you've learned to love yourself. The truth is you've learned to set boundaries. The truth is you've learned that this person is a liar and they never loved you. That's the truth. And we are gonna stand on the truth because that's what's gonna help us heal. 
that's my message for today, you guys. Love y'all. As always, if you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. I am just a thriver, and I'm right here with y'all. Make sure you're checking me out if you need those life coaching services. You guys, I'm here for you. Book those sessions with me and reach out to me. I promise you guys, I know I'm getting busy, but I promise I'm going to always try to reach back out to you guys. I'm just trying to be available as much as I can, but there's so many of y'all coming coming through with love, text messages, and all of that. Um, you guys, I don't take calls throughout the day. You have to book that in advance with me. So just an FYI to those of you who try to call me and I don't answer. I can't because I'm, I'm usually working other jobs. But um, love y'all. It's Mommy So True. It's been a pleasure talking to you today. Continue to smile, continue to laugh, and be joyful because you are a winner. You are a survivor. You guys, I promise you moving forward, this is the new me. This is the healing me. I cannot even help it. It, it. It's like it's coming out of my pores. Like I even smell a different aroma around me and I'm just so happy because God's grace and God's mercy has just been. <laughs> Woo, Lord, let me not let me not get all into that, but I'll be back with another video. Love y'all. Take care. Okay. <laughs>